Hello, my name is Marcos from Cisco DAC, and today I will walk you through the smart licensing registration process using a smart software manager on-prem server, also known as on-prem for short. Smart licensing using policy is supported in routers running Cisco IUSXE releases 17.3.2, 17.4.1 and newer, and in on-prem version 8.2021.02 and newer. Before you begin, make sure your on-prem server is registered with your company's smart account. In this video, I will be using an ISR 4K router running Cisco IUSXE 17.3.5 version. However, the process is exactly the same for all other routers running IUSXE. Make sure connectivity exists between your on-prem server and the device by pinging the on-prem server and also telnet to port 443 to test HTTPS reachability. If connectivity is fine, the next step is to configure CSLU as a transport method and for this, use the command license smart transport CSLU. Now, go to on prem server and under the inventory section, you will see the CSLU transport URL. This is the URL that must be used for this process. Copy the URL and under configuration terminal mode in the router, enter the command license smart URL CSLU followed by the URL. For this process to work, there is one more mandatory configuration change required. The certificate revocation check needs to be disabled in the Trustpoint configuration being used for HTTPS communication. To achieve this, enter revocation check known under the SLA Trustpoint as shown in the video. Please note that if the communication with the on-prem server is supposed to happen in a specific VRF, for example, management VRF, then the HTTP client source interface needs to be configured accordingly. To initiate the synchronization of the device with the on-prem server, enter the command license smart sync all. To confirm registration is complete, go to the on-prem server and under product instances, you should see the router in the list. You have now successfully registered a router with an on-prem server. Thank you for watching.